Manchester United away at CSK Moscow in Russia. Difficult game on paper for Manchester United. Going to Russia is never easy. CSK Moscow, not the best of sides. Obviously one of the lesser teams in the Champions League. But you can never take these sides away from home that lightly in the Champions League. And Manchester United go into this with another injury problem. With Marin Fellaini not travelling with the squad to Russia. Which, to be honest, if Paul Pogba was fit, it wouldn't be a problem for me going into this game. And I'm, I've never been Marin Fellaini's biggest fan. Uh, most people know that, but it does limit our options a bit in the, in the midfield. We, we're we just going to have to change it up a bit, but it's the fact that Matic is also carrying a knock, which is worrying me as well. That is two more midfielders that are potentially in, in, in danger. Of, well, Fellaini's out of the game and we don't want Matic to really get injured further, so that is a bit of a worry there in midfield. So I'm not sure if Jose Mourinho is going to change it up for this game. He's obviously going to have to put someone else in, in Marara and Fellaini's place. But I would expect some changes to happen for this game. I would expect him probably to change it up a bit at the back. Obviously David Hale will be in goal. He may choose to rest Valencia like he did for the other one. So then it, I mean, I could potentially see Darmian coming in at left back. Maybe Asher Young going to right back. And then he might go for Lindelof and Jones again <coughs> in the in the in the defence, or he might go for Lindelof Small, should I say, in the uh, centre of defence. Jones and Bay could also play, but he might choose to give them to a rest. We've got a lot of games coming thick and fast this this next few weeks, so. But it's going to be two out of them four. Obviously, I think he's going to go for probably Smalling and Lindelof for this game. Then the the midfield is where it's really tricky because. With Matic carrying a knock, is he going to risk Matic in this game? I'm not too sure what, what pitch we're playing on there. Away in Russia, hostile atmosphere as well. And if we do risk Matic and he gets any sort of bad injury, then Manchester United are fucked because we're without Paul Pogba as well. I don't know how bad, obviously, Marin Fellaini's injury is, but we're probably going to need him uh, even, even as well at some point over the next few games. Uh, so... Personally, I'd probably go for Carrick and Herrera in midfield just in case Matic gets injured. Now, I don't want to take these too lightly because I think Manchester United really need to go there and at least get the three points in this game because we really need to get this group over with as quick as possible. This is a group that Manchester United should be winning quite comfortably, to be honest. But CSK Moscow did win their last game away from home at Benfica, so they're no absolute Muppets. But I can see changes there. Martial will probably come back in for Marcus Rashford for this game. They seem to chop and change. Mkhitaryan will probably keep his place in behind Romelu Lukaku and then probably one matter out on the other hand side. So I would expect changes, but I just don't know whether it's worth risking Matic in this game if if he's to get injured and maybe miss the Liverpool game and games like that that are coming thick and fast because we've got mostly away games coming up. Now the game against Crystal Palace probably on paper isn't that hard, but... After that, we've got a, another load of games that are away from home. We've got League Cup game away from home. We've got another game in Benfica. We've got Liverpool away. I think there's like three away games in a row. So Manchester United can't really afford to get any more injuries. So, But also Scott McTominay has travelled with Manchester United squad. So could he potentially be on the bench if Matic doesn't play as well? It's nice to see that, that a youngster has been brought into the squad squad on a more regular basis now. This is his second appearance in the squad this season after that league Cup the debut of the season in the debut of in the cup. So he did play a few a couple of times, was it two or three times last season? So it's nice to see Scott McTominay getting in and around the team now. Hopefully that means that the latter stage of this group stage is where I want to see the likes of Demi Mitchell and Angel Gomez getting a run out in them games. Hopefully, if it's dead rubber, obviously you can't do that if Manchester United need the points to win the group or finish second, or if the other teams in the group have to win the games, you can't really go out and put a scratch team out, a team of a lot of youngsters out then, but hopefully he can do that if the group is dead and neither side need any points in the game to, to obviously qualify or whatever and it's a complete dead rubber. So I'm expecting a tough game from this. If Manchester United get any sort of win out of this, I'll be absolutely over the moon because just getting this group dark, group out of the way when your first four games, you've got through to the next round, then you can start, put it aside then really till after after Christmas when it returns in January or February whenever it is. So 
But I don't know too much about CSK in Moscow. I think they've drawn their last two games in the league. As I say, they did beat Benfica in the previous Champions League game. So they're no Muppets, but they did have to go through the qualifier in order to get here. And from a few Russian fans, that I've, people that are living in Russia that I've heard from, they said they're not quite as good as they were, but they're still, I think, third in the Russian league. So it's always difficult going away to these sort of sides, but generally at home you can beat them all right. So it's probably going to be a, t a tight game. Manchester United usually sort of played a bit more defensive under Sir Alex Ferguson then tried to nick a goal a lot of the time in these type of games. But we're under Jose Mourinho. I think we can go out there and get the three points. So I'm going to go for Manchester United winning this game. I'm going to go for Manchester United winning it two goals to one. Let me know your thoughts on the game. How difficult will it be without Fellaini and potentially Matic for this match? Do you think Manchester United can still get through it with the problems that are starting to creep in in midfield? But I think Herrera and Carrick, if played, can do the job in midfield. Neither of them have played a lot of football this season. So certainly Carrick will be refreshed. And I still think Carrick's a quality player. And Herrera is still a decent player as well. So they can still do the job in midfield. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll talk to you all again soon. See ya.